let's shift our focus to tell you about how in terms of uh, the grand old party and the BJP who are sparring over the letter that over 600 lawyers have written to the CJI alleging that a vested interest group is trying to put pressure on the judiciary and defame courts, especially in cases of corruption involving politicians. Now, the Prime Minister has said it is Congress's culture to bully and that is why 140 crore Indians are rejecting the party time and again. Congress Chief Malikarjan Kharge has lashed out in response, saying, and I quote, Modi ji, institution after institution is being bullied by you into submission, so stop pinning the blame on the Congress party for your own sins, unquote. The lawyers in their letters said this interest group creates false narratives of a supposed better past and golden period of courts, contrasting it with the happenings in the present. It claimed that the comments are aimed at influencing courts and embarrassing them for political gains. Rami, my colleague, joins me for the latest. Rami, good morning. Clearly, in terms of this letter that has sparked a new controversy, um, essentially for our viewers to better understand this, what is the bone of contention here? Absolutely. So the hundreds of lawyers have written to the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrasekhar, stated that there are some vested interest groups which are pressuring judiciary, and this all of is ahead of election. These prominent lawyers include Harish Shalve, Manan Kumar Mishra, who is the chairperson of the Bar Council of India, Supreme Court Bar Association President Adish Agarwala, and many such big names have come up in the letters. And these all lawyers are expressing their deepest concern over a vested interest group which is trying to pressure the judiciary, influence judicial process, and defame the courts on the basis of frivolous logic and stale political agendas. Again and again, letters are being written to the CGI and stating that there is a political agenda behind all of this. The judiciary is being tried to influenced by politics. The lawyers have alleged that there are false narrative over supposed better past and golden period of the course, contrasting, comparing it, what is happening in the present. They stated judiciary was in the past of much better. It was the golden time of judiciary in the uh, past. However, at present, things have turned different and it is being exactly opposite of what was in the past. So such dirt is being thrown on the judiciary by many of these people and raising their concern over this, only these hundreds of lawyers have written to the chief justice. If I read out what has been, been written in the letter, it says, their antics are vitating the atmosphere of trust and harmony, which characterizes the functioning of the judiciary. Their pressure tactics are most obvious in the political cases, particularly those involving political figures accused of corruption. These tax tactics are damaging to our courts and threaten our democratic fabric. Our democracy fra fra uh, fra fra uh, fabric is being right, threatened. Rami. So this is what the letter states. Rami, I appreciate you getting us the latest in terms of how this controversy has ensued, what are the allegations, and most importantly, what the letter states.